grab that. So, something I want to check is can we use any of these to get to the underworld? I don't know why I'm doing this. I need to save first. Oh my god. Couldn't how to play. Actually, let me just do this first. Because I didn't die here and I need to die here. There we go. Agent 5 attempted to gain entrance to a Mayan holy place without a proper understanding of their religious beliefs. Tragically, although not surprisingly, his quest ended at the bottom of a pit of spikes. Love it. That artwork. Those skeletons, that's good stuff. Alright, how are we doing on stuff? Critical evidence, we need something from Chichen Itza. I need one more piece of evidence. I need to do some more research and solve some more puzzles. Speaking of puzzles. Yeah, last time I used 12 lightning to get down there, but this time... Let's see if we can get down using 9 dog. Don't ask me why I switched that off. Does any combination work here? Oh. I'm going to take that as a yes. I've held it down for a bit too long. I don't know where this is going to take me. Oh my god. Well, maybe this time we'll be able to get through that door. I will be absolutely stunned if this is not the correct answer. There we go. And we've still got the gold coins. We didn't give it all of the wealth, we gave it some of the wealth. Okay, I can get back out by the looks of it. Sounds like a waterfall. Ooh. Ooh, rope bridge. Very dangerous. You go first. Ah, uh, I should know the reference there, but I don't. How far down are we that we couldn't see this from up there? Up on the pyramid, I mean. If I take too long here, am I just going to die? Am I going to die if I move forwards? I'm actually kind of stunned that that did not kill me. Uh, there's nothing I can translate here. Okay, well that's, um, 
that would be problematic if we didn't have a jumpsuit. Is this supposed to be like a vein of gold or something and we turn our back to it? I think so. Because yeah, these dead bodies being here would maybe indicate people who failed the trial. And unlike the God of War's trial where they were just speared, these dudes were just left here to rot. Just doing some pixel hunting here to see if there's anything I'm missing. I see nothing. Can I maybe use the missile bar to chip some of the gold off? Yeah, this is a trap, isn't it? I see nowhere else I can walk forwards either, so I either need to jump out or load my game. I will load. If I can find the button. Uh, pushed forward a few times, hopefully not too many. Okay, let's turn our back to wealth. I've turned my back. I don't know what that has accomplished. I see nothing down here. I don't see an obsidian block or something that we can pick up. Oh, hello. Okay, uh, can we cut this perhaps? There's something down there. I see it very clearly. Maybe? No, not that. Anything but that. There we go. My initial thought of cutting the bridge doesn't make a lot of sense when you consider that multiple people go through these trials and uh, cussing the bridge would be a terrible act of vandalism. Purdy. Arthur's not warning me about danger, so I assume this is safe. Who was that, Arthur? He told me about the other dude, the God of War. Who is this? The Wolf God, I can't pronounce that. Okay, we have Obsidian and we have Jade. I think I will try climbing the rope to get out of here. Uh, 
And while we're getting out of here, I'm going to try and remember where I picked up the 20 meter coil of rope. I think it might have been in Da Vinci's studio. Because I don't know if we'll be needing that anywhere else. Okay, does water get me in here? Cross the waters of disbelief under stepping stones of faith. It mentions water, but I don't see what this uh, particular canister has to do with crossing stepping stones. Aha! There we go. Couldn't we have just spat on it or something? Oh. Christ. Arthur? Thoughts? You've been very quiet lately. Hey, who's the architect who built this bridge? This place is like the Winchester Mystery Pyramid. Once again, don't understand that reference. Okay. This I do not remember. There's going to be a order or a puzzle here that I need to solve to get across here safely, very clearly. Or oh, nice. So we're supposed to be going over there. That is all. Ah, very clever, Glasshopper. The fuck? That was completely unexpected. This is a pretty elaborate contraption. The Maya were amazingly advanced, but I never would have imagined this level of mechanical engineering. From the sound of it, there's a water wheel down below that's driving this whole mechanism. That tells me that there must have been a particular season for these priesthood initiation trials. Part of the reason the rain god was so important to the Maya was that the Yucatan was susceptible to drought. If we'd arrived a few months later, there would have been little more than a trickle to drive these platforms. What started those platforms, though? Me walking across and then me walking back? Is this a timing thing? I'm actually not sure what I'm doing here, chat. I'm pushing five on the keypad as that thing comes past. Yeah, I do have to query whether it's very easy to die here. Once again, I'll be doing you a disservice and myself a disservice if I did not test it at least once. Okay, I moved forward. There we go. I moved forward when that thing was nowhere near me and I got across. But it didn't work the second time. In attempting to prove his worth to the Mayan rain god, 
Agent 5 fell 30 meters from a bridge of swinging platforms into the raging waterfall below, inadvertently appeasing the god of death. Can we not just jump? Like if we're falling, we can just do a jump in midair and save ourselves? Right, we're not going to do that again. He's pretty. That would be Tlaloc, the rain god. Tlaloc. Alright, let's grab your limestone block. And as much as I would love to go back that way, I don't think I will. I think I'll actually make the jump. Because I can see that's just going to be a very, very annoying. We still have all of the items, so there's no problem with doing that. We can just do this ritual, hopefully one last time. Nine dog is good, I think. Yep, nine dog. And then we can go over to that last door, plug everything in, and we're good. Well, we might not be good. I don't know what's behind that door, yes. Uh, not that way. So in Feinstein's lab, there was no evidence of our time traveler. Will we see someone here, perhaps? Final trial is the first sacrifice. Ah, come on. We didn't lose the blocks. That's good. The top of this bridge seems to be a sharpened obsidian blade. Talk about walking gingerly. If one leg slipped off, you'd be beside yourself. I said, beside yourself. Forget it. I'm more worried about my nether regions. I would imagine that when a supplicant reached this room, there would be a sacrifice victim tied to the altar and the priest would all be arranged in a circle around the perimeter of the church. <sighs> the only exit from these caverns seems to be through that passage on the other side. So if you pass the trial, they would pivot the bridge around to let you across. If not, well, I guess you're on your own, buddy. That explains some of the skeletons we found, trying to find their way out. Really? I thought those people just trying to pass the trials to get here. Okay. What's wrong with that pool of blood? Synthetic blood inconsistent with technology level at this time period. Okay, so our traveler's been here and put some synthetic blood in there to 
get through this door. There's a exit there. There's something over to the left. I can't move in any direction at the moment. I'm hoping that this thing will get me through. Yes. Oh no. That won't work. It's time to learn if I was actually paying attention to all the stuff at the beginning of this area. Oh my god. Shit. I need to make a save here and I need to go outside. Can I back out of that? I mean, that works. Oh! We're actually holding that from side to side and we trigger a trap. Kind of like a Chinese finger trap or whatever it's called. In the caverns below Chichen Itza, Agent 5 discovered an ornate Mayan puzzle box. Thinking that he knew the combination, he tried to open it. The sting of the poison needle piercing his hand told him he was wrong. Okay, I've got all the sporting evidence. The critical evidence is in there. I assume that's another puzzle and we need three more research bonus. What have I missed? Okay, let me walk over here. Over this obsidian blade. I'm going to put the preserved heart in here. That is our sacrifice. I love the way it dramatically appears every time we face this direction. Let me go here. I can save. And I'm going to yeet out of here. What was written on these walls? Lords of the Knights, maybe? Libations must be made to the Lords of the Nice. A supplicant must prove his worth by passing the trials of the underworld. Yeah, okay, we've done that. Only after passing the trials may a supplicant gain counsel with gods to pay homage. Chuck Moore, yeah, that's the entrance. Homage must be paid to four Lords of the Nights before the layman is allowed to touch the holy vessel of ordainments. Four Lords of the Nights. To touch the holy vessel is to become a vessel of the word of Itsamna. I'm not sure that, that helps me. There was nothing else written around here. Okay. Can I make a save here? Yes. I see lords here. It's 
Supplicant seems right. Wait. Uh, what was it? Was it nice or underworld? I don't remember. It's not Four Lords of Nice. Lords of the Nice. What did I say for? Homage must be paid to four Lords of the Nights. Yeah, that's what I just selected and that did not work. Okay. I'm going to have to give this some thought very clearly. There's a lot of options here, a lot of combinations. It's touched a holy vessel. I assume this is a holy vessel. Sounds correct. I mean, any of these could be correct. The vessel of its amna. The vessel contains. It contains the breath. I'm not sure what the game wants me to do here. We need to pay homage to the four lords of the night before the layman is allowed to touch the holy vessel of ordainments. It contains the breath. To touch it is to become a vessel of the word. This I don't know. I was struggling with this one. And the worst part is I don't think I can actually back out of here. Can't use the pointers. Five is doing nothing. And I've got no way of actually backing out. I'm locked into this. Uh, game. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Uh... I mean, that's very literal. Yeah, I don't know. Let me give this some more thought.
The Louvre's financial dif- The four items that the NID- You know it's bad when I'm looking here for clues. God of the sky, inventor of writing and books. Nothing about a word. Had many personas though. I would imagine that when a supplicant reached this room, there would be a sacrifice victim tied to the altar, and the priest would all be arranged in a circle around the perimeter of the chamber. The only exit from these caverns seems to be through that passage on the other side, so if you pass the trial, they would pivot the bridge around to let you across. If not, well, I guess you're on your own, buddy. That explains some of the skeletons we found trying to find their way out.
I thought I tried that, damn it. Maybe I tried Vessel. Hey, that's an Environ cartridge, isn't it? And it's loose. It hasn't been incorporated into the artifact like in the other time zones. You should take it. Maybe it'll provide us with some information. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one's on the house. I thought I tried that a long time ago, damn it. That looks like our single that we got out of the replicator. Electronic device inconsistent with technology level at this time period? You don't say. Environ cartridge. This is an unlabeled Environ cartridge. It will play in any high res Environ system. Oh, can I take that Geno thing and put it into that uh, green thingamajig? Environ player, whatever it's called. I don't know. I'm going to have to test that next, very clearly. I thought I tried that a lot earlier, Damas. I would imagine that when a supplicant yeah, reached okay, this I room, hear you, Arthur. there would be a sacrifice victim tied to the altar, and the priest would all be arranged in a circle around the perimeter of the chamber. The only exit from these caverns seems to be through that passage on the other side. So if you pass the trial, they would pivot the bridge around to let you across. If not, well, I guess you're on your own, buddy. That explains some of the skeletons we found, trying to find their way out. We are indeed on our own. Why on earth was that thing hidden in there? That is deeply worrying. Ah, I see. We click Envira on and then we put other stuff in there. Got us. Not today, fellas. I assume I can just place it directly into here. Yep. Hi, Matty, right now. Matty, so you know the routine. Uh, name, number, I'll get back to you. Thanks. Hi, it's me. I know it's been a while, but I found some things that belong to you. If you like, you can stop by and pick them up sometime. I'll be home this evening. Unless something interesting happens here, I'm skipping this. BRB. Alright. Uh... Yeah, there was no hidden message there or anything like that. At least I don't think there was. I wouldn't understand metaphors if you were trying to bash them over the head with a hammer. Um, okay, let's put this in. What the hell is this going to do? Are we going to get some answers? Okay, this cartridge is the final piece you'll need to build a time machine. You should also have the Da Vinci Codex, which contains various formulae. The sculpture which morphs into a schematic diagram, and the medieval sword which holds the energy focusing element. This cartridge contains all existing notes, plans, and diagrams on the construction of the neutrino matrix accelerator, the time machine's power source. You'll be able to recreate the accelerator from these notes. By using the formulae, schematics, and focusing element to control the accelerator and harness its power, you'll be able to turn it into a functioning time machine. 
The information on this cartridge has been arranged in chronological order, starting with the building of the accelerator's framework and following the process of its construction through to the final part. Good luck. And may Sorry to interrupt, Gage, but I need that back. Michelle, we need to talk.